Hey everyone, thank you for watching and welcome back to a new declutter. Okay, today we are doing blushes. So I'm just kind of moving along with some face products. I've done highlighters, I've done bronzers, and a lot of you have requested to see my blushes. So this is my single blush collection. Any blushes that I have that are in a face palette with other types of products, those will be coming in a separate video. But I'm going to be going through each one. I'm going to swatch everything, let you know what I think of it, and decide what I'm keeping and what I'm going to declutter. I will link my playlist down below, but let's go ahead and get started. Where to begin? So I'll start off here with my Buxom Seychelles blush. So this is one of the primer infused blushes from Buxom. I am a big fan of these. I love the shade Seychelles. There is the swatch of it there. It is beautiful. It has a nice shimmer to it. It's been a favorite for a long time. I will say that recently though, I feel like I haven't been using it as much. There's just been so many good blushes coming out, but I'm still definitely going to be keeping this one around. I think it's a good one. All right, next up, let's just talk about these single blushes because I'm like so afraid that they're going to get injured during this declutter. So these are both from ColourPop in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. These are the Zodiac blushes. So we have I Need Space and then also Lunar Has It. There are the swatches. We have Lunar Has It and then I Need Space. I really do like these blushes. I mentioned in my bronzer declutter, I decluttered a single bronzer um, or a single contour shade because I said I never remember remember to go into it and I referenced these blushes and I said even though these are singles and even though I have them in a magnetic pan I still remember to wear these and I really do like them I like the ColourPop pressed blush formula I like both of these at first when I first got them I was wearing Lunar Has It More then I switched to I Need Space and now I actually like to mix them and I think they look really pretty that way so even though these are not still currently available I still wear them I still really like them so I'm going to keep right, them. I see this one here from Milani and it should have a little plastic thingy here to help uh, protect the blush, but it fell out and I could not get it back in. So this is the Berry Amore blush. I, you know, the Milani blushes are like the old school YouTube holy grails. Everybody had them at one point. Everybody loved them, myself included. And they they released a few new shades, including this one in Berry Amore. Here is the swatch of it here. And while I do think it's a nice looking blush, with the plastic being gone, it's a I I don't love that, and I feel like maybe the blush won't last as long. But also the shade, while I like it, it's a little bit more on that coral side, which I don't really reach for my coral blushes as much. So I feel like I can go ahead and declutter this one. I do have two here from e.l.f. Cosmetics. These are the primer infused blushes. So I have Always Cheeky and then also Always Earthy. So these are the swatches here. We have Always Cheeky first and then Always Earthy. I usually gravitate towards Always Earthy more because it has more of that nude tone, which I really like for blushes. But I can also mix the two and I think they look really pretty that way. These are really affordable blushes. I also really do like the primer infused bronzers. I feel like the bronzers are a little bit more long wearing than the blushes, but I still think that these are really great, so I'm gonna keep them. I have this one here from The Balm. This is the Frat Boy blush. I have had this blush in my collection for a really long time. I did a video recently um, doing the blush collection tag, so I can put that one up in the cards or link it in my description box if you'd wanna check it out. And I I think this is the one that I mentioned as the blush that I've had the longest because I've just, I mean, I've had it for several years now at this point. So this is the swatch of Frat Boy and I really kept this blush around for a while because it was the only one that I had from the Balm. I do like their products and I, I wanted to keep it around to have it, but I do have a few new blushes in my collection and shades that I think that I'm going to wear a little bit more. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and say goodbye to the Frat Boy. So these are the new ones that I have from the Balm. Typically with my declutters, I'm only showing the products that uh, like are officially in my collection and not products that I have yet to review because I would be keeping all of them. But I thought that I would show these because they are a little bit newer and like I referenced, I'm decluttering one from the Balm because I did just get these new three from the Balm Cosmetics. So we have Big Date, Third Date, and It's a Date, always really cute packaging with these. So Big Date is a little bit more mauve which is beautiful, kind of like a berry mauve. Then we have Third Date. This one has a shimmer to it. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Seychelles. And then It's a Date is another matte blush. 
And then this one is going to be the lightest uh, kind of nude blush here. It's a date, a third date, and then the last one is Big Date that is more of that berry mauve. So those are three new ones. They're available now on the Balms website. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these three and keep testing them out so that I can review them in an upcoming video. Another blush that I've had for quite some time in my collection is this one from Becca Cosmetics. So this is one of the mineral blushes and this is in the shade Flower Child. All right. So I feel like the Becca mineral blushes were really popular at one point on YouTube also and it's why I really wanted to grab one. The Flower Child shade is very pretty. It definitely swatches you know pretty bright but i find if i blend it out it still looks pretty good on my skin tone so i have liked it but really i haven't been reaching for this one very often there's definitely been other blushes that i go to more so i'm actually going to go ahead and declutter flower child but this blush from persona cosmetics this is the caramel super blush this is so beautiful. Persona Cosmetics does so good on their product releases, and this blush is no exception. It is a beautiful shade. Again, leans more on that mauve side, but it has some pink to it, a really subtle shimmer. It is just gorgeous, so easy to blend. Definitely keeping this one. One of my newer blushes, this is from Lawless Beauty, and this is the Make Me Blush Velvet Blush in Vintage Love. This is so beautiful. I'm such a fan of the Lawless brand and this blush is gorgeous. There is the swatch of it there. Again, a little bit more mauve and a little, it's like mauve, nude, baby pink, all at the same time. It's such a beautiful combination and I love this one. Definitely keeping this one from Lawless. All right, so I do have quite a few blushes from ColourPop. These are the three Super Shocks that I have in my collection. I have Prenup and then two from ColourPop Land. We have Gummy More and also Jolly. So here are the swatches. So Prenup, Gummy More, and also Jolly. Now I have been really liking the pressed powder blushes from ColourPop More. Like I mentioned, the ones with Kathleen Lights. I have a few more coming up too. So the Super Shocks, I kind of went into this declutter thinking I could get rid of a few just because I do prefer the the other formula. Prenup is a really pretty shade, but I haven't really been reaching for it all that much, but this one from the, the Candyland collection and Gummy More, I really, really like the shade of blush, and these blushes smell really good, like they smell like candy, and I'm a big fan of that. And then Jolly is, it's almost like a little bit too shimmery, like it kind of has some really fine glitter to it. So I think out of these three, I am going to declutter prenup. I think someone could still get a lot of good use out of it and then also declutter Jolly and I am going to keep Gummy More. The that I have here from ColourPop, this one is in Wayfarer and this one is in Tearing Up My Heart. Here's what the inside of these two look like. And then these both are pretty light but we have the Wayfarer there and then Tearing Up My Heart. Honestly, I was thinking since they kind of lean similar to one another, I was like, ah, maybe I should declutter one of them, but I actually, like, I really like them both. I think Taryn Up My Heart is a little bit more of, like, the shade that I would wear more often, but I also really love the packaging of this one with the cactus on it, so... I'm gonna keep both of these. <laughs> Next one I have from ColourPop is with some of their collaborations. So we have the blush from the Sailor Moon collection and this is in Cat's Eye. And then also one from Mulan and this is Good Luck Charm. And with both of these, I wasn't really sure if I was going to love them because I don't know if you can see on camera, but there is definitely a lot of shimmer packed into this one from Mulan. So I just wasn't really sure. And then when I opened this from the Sailor Moon, I was like, no way is that going to work on me. But actually both of them, were really pretty so this is sailor moon and this one is the mulan sailor moon if you blend it out it does look pretty and not too overwhelming the mulan though is just it's really gorgeous again i kind of tend to lean more towards those nude blushes and that one is so pretty so i think that i would get more use out of the mulan so i'm going to keep this one and declutter the sailor moon i know a lot of people Really love this, so I think I could pass this on to someone who's going to really enjoy it. And then lastly from ColourPop, I have one of their blush sticks, and this is in the shade Under Pressure. So there is the swatch of it here. You know, I'm not a huge cream product gal. I do have a couple more in here, actually, that I'm thinking about keeping around. So I usually just don't have a ton of cream products that I keep in any of my categories, just because they're not my most reached for. And with this one from ColourPop, I was kind of hanging around kind of letting it hang around because I didn't have a lot of other cream products, but I think I'm actually going to be okay to declutter it. It's a pretty shade. Again, it can, it can kind of lean a little bit more on that coral side. So 
uh, I just don't feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it, so I'm gonna declutter this one. So another cream product, this one is from Tower 28. This is their Beach Please Blush in Magic Hour. So I wasn't a huge fan of the highlight from Tower 28. I decluttered that because it was just kind of like this strange gloss on me. And the bronzer was a nice formula, but it was the wrong shade for me. So I declared that one in the bronzer collection. But I really do like this blush. I'm not a big cream product fan. I don't use them the most often, but this one is really easy to use. I love this shade. Definitely gonna be keeping this one. My other product is this liquid blush from Ilia Beauty. This is their Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment. You're supposed to be able to use it on your cheeks and also your lips. I have the shade Waking Up, which is right here. So beautiful. This was one of the first liquid blushes that I was like, hey, I actually really like that a lot. You need a small amount of product. It's easy to work with. It's easy to blend. It looks really natural. Big fan of this one. I'm going to be keeping it. All right, next up I have my duo from Patrick Ta. This is the Double Take Creme Powder Blush, and I have the shade She's So LA. So this one does include a cream product, so I thought that I would include it next. So you have a cream blush and then also a powder blush. Stunning packaging, gorgeous duo, and then here are the two swatches. We have the cream and then also the powder. So I actually kind of wondered if these could be bronzers on me, and I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but they do, they're not a bronzer tone that I would use. For me, I do use these more as blushes. I think that they're both really beautiful. The cream actually surprised me. I really, really like that. Patrick Ta, I've done a couple of his master classes that he's had over Zoom, during this time, I've been able to be invited to a couple of them and I pick up new tips and tricks from him every time. He is so talented and I'm excited to see what else is going to be coming up from his makeup line. So I'm definitely keeping She's So LA. Next up, I have this one from Tarte Cosmetics, an oldie but a goodie. This is the Parte blush that I got as a birthday gift a thousand years ago when we were all getting this as a birthday gift, but still really continue to enjoy the shade. I love this um, beautiful nude tone and yeah, it's really pretty. I've seen some people pan their minis I don't think that will ever happen for me, but you know, it's fine and I still really like this So I'm gonna keep I have it. this blush from Ofer Cosmetics This was in collaboration with Madison Miller and this is the sweet stuff blush uh, Really gorgeous blush. I really enjoyed the Ofer blush formula and there is the shade there I kind of thought it might be a little too pink on me, but when I wear it and blend it out It looks so good on me. I'm a big fan of this one I also really do enjoy Madison Miller. I was really excited to see her collaboration So I'm gonna keep this one. next up. This is another collaboration with over cosmetics this oh this oh Oh, oh this is in collaboration with me Samantha March <laughs> This is my chiclet blush duo. Okay, so obviously this is a favorite product of mine. I really enjoy my chiclet blush duo. Uh, if you don't know, I'm also a blogger and my blog is chiclet plus and I love the chiclet genre, my current series that I'm writing. For my books is chiclet so that is where this one got its name so we have a matte blush and then also a shimmer blush i use them separately i use them together and obviously it's a big favorite of mine still available now at ofra and ulta beauty one of my newer blushes this is from rare beauty and this is the bliss blush so this one is another liquid blush uh, so with my rare beauty products they are still really new to me so i kind of don't want to give them up yet just because I'm going to be putting in them in some videos. I want to keep playing around with them even though I pretty much have decided that not a lot of the line is necessarily for me, which is okay. I don't think they're bad products. I just don't think they're my personal uh, makeup preference. So the Bliss blush, it was not quite the shade that I love the most on me and a little bit too matte. <laughs> I've been trying to decide if I want to try the dewy blushes, but this one was, and I like matte blushes, but I just didn't really love the formula on this one, but I'm going to keep it for the time being as I try it a little bit more and you'll probably see it pop up in some future videos, but not so sure on this one for me. I have this one from Dior. This is the Dior Skin Nude Luminizer Blush in the shade 10. So this was gifted to me from a subscriber. I also mentioned a bronzer in my bronzer declutter that was also gifted to me, and so these these two came together. When I opened it up, I was like, oh my gosh, I just don't know if there's ever a way that the blush is gonna work on me, but it's one of those that actually does look really good once you do blend it out. If I don't like go overboard with it, it does work well. It has some shimmer to it, but it's not quite this like 
as bright as it looks in the pan type of blush and it's really fun to have the Dior blushes. Once again, there's a lot of fragrance on this. When I open it up, I can really smell it, but this is a sweet gift, so I'm going to be keeping this one. Next up, I do have a two cheek to chic blushes from Charlotte Tilbury. I have both Pillow Talk and Intense. So this one here is in Pillow Talk. This is the one that I use more often and these blushes are beautiful. I had these on my wish list for the longest time and once I was able to try them I definitely understood the hype with them. This one is intense so the swatches we have intense and then pillow talk. Intense is still it was the actually the first blush that I tried instead of pillow talk. I'm not really sure why I did that but I really like it, even though it can be a little bit deeper. Again, if I blend it out, I think that it looks really good. And then Pillow Talk is just one of those that I can use anytime. Like I use that one so much and I think that these are just both beautiful. Gotta keep these. So I have this blush from Maybe Cosmetics. This is the I Can and I Will blush. So Maybe Cosmetics is an indie brand. And this is a really beautiful blush. I just feel like I've been keeping so many blushes. So this is the swatch of it here. It's a beautiful nude blush. I think I featured this as an underrated blush or um, something along those lines in my blush tag because it's really nice. I don't hear a lot of people chatting about maybe cosmetics and they have some really good products, eyeshadow palettes and also blushes. I just, I don't, I don't reach for it very often. It's one of those that I kind of keep around because I like it and it's good, but it's from an indie brand. But I feel like I should declutter it because I don't use it super often and I've definitely kept a lot of blushes and all of them that I really want to still be hanging on to. So I'm going to put this one in my past pile. I think I can rehome it to someone who will use it a lot more than I will. Next up from Cover FX is one of the monochromatic blush duos. I have the shade Warm Honey. So that is what the blush looks like and then we have the matte side and then the shimmer side here. I am one of those who didn't fall absolutely head over heels in love with this blush. I know a lot of people love it so much. I like it. I like, I like it. I think that's fine. I don't reach for it the most often because I think that it's so pigmented. Sometimes it's just so easy for me to go really overboard and it's not, to me, I don't find it to be the easiest to blend out. So if I am not light-handed, I may look a little crazy for a while, but it is a nice long wearing blush. It's Pretty. I'm, I want to keep this around for a while more, so I'm going to hold on to this one. Next up, I have my Jouer Blush Duo, and this is in Adore. I do adore my blush duo from Jouer. I've talked about these a lot. I used to have another one, but I decluttered it in a, in a past blush declutter because this is really the one that I get the most use out of. There are the two swatches there. So one side is a little bit more matte, and then one side is more shimmer. I usually just mix these together, and I think that they're beautiful. Definitely holding on to this one. And then lastly, I have this one here from Ciate London. This is in Matchmaker. This was another gift that was sent to me, and I think that this is so cute. I don't know if these are available anymore because I've worn them a few times in videos and tried to link them, and I couldn't find it, but it's mostly a blush. And then you have, like, this little bit of more of a highlight shade at the end here. So there is the swatch of the Matchmaker blush. It's really pretty. You can get a little bit of shimmer in it if you want to mix in that little piece down here at the bottom. Uh, so I am going to be keeping this one. Okay, let's see how I did because I know that I definitely kept a lot, but let me pull everything out and we'll do a final count. Right, so for final totals, this is everything that I am keeping right here. I'm keeping 27 and then here is my little declutter pile and I'm decluttering eight. <laughs> Epic. So I have to say that this clearly was not my largest declutter ever, but I hope that you at least found this helpful to go through each blush, talk about each one, swatch each one, and why I want to keep it or declutter it. Again, I have the three in here from the balm that normally I wouldn't include because I'm still testing them out, but I thought it would be nice to show you those new products. And I have to say that I've kind of shocked myself again. My highlighter declutter, I decided to get rid of a few that I that really surprised me. I didn't think that I would. Same thing happened in my bronzer declutter. I feel like I'm shocked not because I decluttered a lot or decluttered, you know, some holy grail old favorites like the other two, but because I wanted to keep so many single blushes. I haven't always been a blush girl either. Like there was times where I could completely skip blush and be fine with it. And for whatever reason, blushes are really calling to me these days. And I, I just enjoy having them and looking at the ones that I decided to keep, there's really none that I want to get rid of. So, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and be happy with this. I've, I've at least decluttered a few out of my collection and I can pass on some. So 
that makes me feel good. So I'm happy with this. I hope that you enjoyed it. And definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also let me know what you want to see next week for my next declutter because that always helps me out so much. If you did enjoy it though, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye.